Hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Zaragoza, Spain. This is the Basketball Champions League. It's the regular season Group D game day three game between Casa de Mont, Zaragoza, and Falco Vulcano Sombote. Well, here's what's happened uh, in Group D so far this week. Neptunus and Telecom Basket Spawn getting wins tonight. It's JD Dijon uh, taking on Happy Casa Brindisi. And of course, here in Zaragoza, uh, their game against uh, Falco Vulcano Sambote from Hungary. And the fans uh, fresh off a big win at the weekend and also last week, of course, uh, a thriller for Casa de Mont Zaragoza uh, to go to one and one uh, with a late three uh, foul on the three point shot by DJ Sealy at Besiktas uh, to go to one and one. Sombate also uh, getting their win last week uh, at home against Pauk. Uh, history will be made tonight if this Falco Volcano Sombate team gets a win. No Hungarian team has ever won a game on the road in the Basketball Champions League. Gaspar Korn's team keeps an eye on Daquan Lake, number 31. Uh, Quentin Hooker, number 21. Uh, Zoltan Pearl, number nine. Devon Washington, number six. And Juvante Reddick. Uh, clearly, those guys uh, will get some minutes tonight. And Javier Hustiz, well, we saw him uh, get hurt last week and didn't play much, uh, but he's back. He did play some minutes over the weekend. Jonathan Barrero, DJ Sealy, Nicolas Bersino, who played at the World Cup for Argentina in the final. Nemanja Radovic, Carlos Alothin, all the way down. Robin Benzing had a big game at the weekend. Their Gotha had this place hopping, winning that game 89 to 83 over Barcelona. And it came right hot on the heels of last week's success uh, in the Basketball Champions League, as I mentioned, uh, winning at Besiktas. 74 to 73, one of the real uh, thrillers that have been played this year in this competition. Porfirio Fisak, uh, one of the veteran coaches in Spanish basketball, welcomes his team out onto the court. Javier Justiz, uh, the Cuba International. DJ Sealy, uh, one of the heroes. Uh, Persino, we talked about. Remembering how that went, it was, uh, well, you had the likes of Racino, who had 13 points, six rebounds, three assists for Zaragoza in that win at Besiktas. And you also had uh, Barreto, who played well in uh, his limited minutes. Uh, Sealy finished with 16 points to lead all scores. Uh, Nemanja Radovic had 14, and as I mentioned, Brasino had 39 for Carlos Alifin. Fran Vasquez had six points, and Robin Benzing held to just two points. So you never really know from one week to the next what's going to happen. Trigby Lennison, Icelandic international, also in this team, along with Vit Krechi and Javier Garcia.
So for Falco, Vulcano, Sombatle, uh, Juvante Reddick, Zoltan Pearl, Benedict Varadi, Zilard uh, Benke, and Marco Filipovity in the starting. Tell you what, exciting times in this part of the world when you look at what Zaragoza have done, uh, especially in, uh, in the Spanish League. Five and one, five wins in their first six games and coming off a victory over Barcelona, trailing only Real Madrid, who are six and zero oh, up at the top of the standings. So here we are, folks, in Zaragoza getting ready for the game day three clash between Casa de Mont, Zaragoza, and Falco Vulcano Sambote from Hungary. First ever home game for Zaragoza in the Basketball Champions League. And uh, they want to follow that rich tradition in Spain before them all six Spanish teams have won their first home game in this competition. Well, good evening, folks, and welcome to Zaragoza, Spain. This is the Basketball Champions League. It's the game day three clash between Casa de Mont, Zaragoza, and Falco Bucano Sombote. And Radovic turns and scores the first two points of the game. So Zaragoza off to a good start. Pearl into the paint, back outside and the miss. And the Pearl gets the rebound. That was Benedict Verratti who missed the jumper. Now Pearl. And chasing the ball out of bounds. Alethin. Alucine, rather. Pearl puts it up and drills the long jump shot. Quality player, Sultan Pearl. Seeley. Who's this? For the Cuban and picks up a foul. Yep, that's a good call. You can see him quite clearly uh, getting the opponent on the arm. Meanwhile, that was Pearl, who again had that huge game last week, uh, filled up the stat sheet and the win over Powell. Beautiful bounce pass, Pearl gets it inside. Oh, what a finish! 
Good strong move inside and the finish by Juvante Reddick. And Reddick misses the free throw. Alothin. And Pearl anticipating the pass back to Hustiz. I notice here in Zaragoza they say Hustiz. Uh, but Javier Hustiz actually pronounces it like that Hustiz. Coming from a different part of the world. Here's DJ Seeley. Hustiz with the rebound. Passes it back. Nope. Intercepted again by Pearl very alertly. And then driving in and scoring is Binke. Binke. Seelard Binke. Another of the Hungarian internationals. Hustiz goes to work. Dribbling around, Alathin in the lane. Hustis with the rebound, goes up with the left hand in there for Radovich, pulling it up and in. Nemanja Radovich with all four points. He had a great first half last week at Besiktas. Pearl. Filipovity hits a three-pointer. A very uh, confident start here for the Hungarian team. Alathin from deep. And after the rebound, the foul called on Nicholas Brasino. And I think. Clearly, the crowd didn't agree with that. This is Philip Hovity's uh, three-pointer. Verratti hands it off to Reddick. Now putting it up from downtown is Binka. Zilard Binka. And the lead is 12 to 4. Dump down low. Hustis is fouled by Silard Binka, who reaches over and helps up Hustis. Wasn't a tough foul, but had, a, had his hands on him. Gaspar Ocorn has to like uh, the way his team has started here on the road in Spain, which really uh, the Spanish league highly regarded. A lot of people would call it the best league, the best domestic league in Europe. DJ Sealy drives in. Radovich gets it back to Sealy. Looks good, but it was a little too long. Well, right idea, the bounce pass, uh, but it goes out of bounds. Into the corner, Brasino, that's his game, nope. Radovich with the rebound, doing all the work early. Denied as he goes up, Brasino hits it to Hustis, who goes in for the left-handed jam. That brings uh, the Zaragoza Arena to a little bit of life. Borati into the corner. Binka fakes, puts it up mid range. And on Kroger's, the Latvian referee says it is Sombate basketball. A 
Well, that was certainly looked like a 50 50. Little poverty off target. Now Persino is open. It's like a free throw, and he misses. Full start for Persino. Then he gets that one and lays it up and in. Now seeing the ball go in the basket. Let's see how that affects him. Four straight points here for Zaragoza. Pearl gets in, gets swatted. Big bad Javier Hustis with the rejection. And then going to the other way. And the trailer, Radovich. And Radovich takes the bump from Reddick. And we'll get two free throws. This was Pearl. Did a good job, but I think he forgot that Hustis was uh, in the area. Hustis just kind of swooped in and took care of business. Ron Curry's checks in for Falco Sambate. Right. Number two. Radovich makes the first. And now what was an eight point lead is just two for Sambote. Curry gets his first touch. Now gives it to Reddick. Reddick goes to work on Hustis. Good footwork from Reddick and banks it in. Good defense. Forcing the turnover was Filipovity. Taking it away from Radovich. Now Filipovity is open. Benka gets a hand on it, bats it back outside to Borati. Now putting it up again from mid range. Here comes Seeley. Seeley slips, but Hustis was there to pick up the ball. Aluthine. Spins to whose teeth now on the baseline and the big fella miss but his teammate there and wow hard to believe Varadi had an easy rebound missed it and then a couple of chances at the basketball uh, for both teams look at this and Philip Poverty and Falco Bucano Sombate end up coming up with possession, so they dodged a bullet there. And an offensive foul charge has been called. Quentin Hooker, meanwhile, has checked into the game, number 21. This was Hooker's pass. And Reddick was uh, just trying to make a pass. But nevertheless collided. Daquan Lake now in the game. And now an offensive foul called on Zaragoza. A hold spotted by Alan Kroger's. Well, that was on the call was on Seeley. See, he came into the paint. Curry hands it off and Lake didn't make it but got the rebound back and 
Also checking in and missing was Washington. Now Zaragoza. Oh, Alutin goes behind his back, puts it up. Boy, that would have been a highlight real play if he'd made that shot. Look at this. That was right at the end of the play. Trig V. Lindison in the game as well. You can see the big Icelandic center. Alothan makes the first. Great job by the visitors getting on top here early. But you feel like right now Zaragoza might just be the better team on the court. It's only a matter of time. Somebody's got to make a play here. It's going to be Hooker, number 21. Well, he hands it off to Binka. Now Washington gets in the paint, steps back right at the line. That was impressive stuff. Knew exactly what he wanted to do. Devon Washington. Javier Garcia, number 44, into the ball game. He's got the ball with Allison going to the bench. Seeley gets in, misses with the left hand, but Lennison follows it up. Can't quite get it to go. Just missed, just lacks that little bit of polish to his offense. Binka, bounce pass, beautiful play. Great rejection by Lennison. Swatted late. Robin Vincing into the game. He goes to work, passes back outside. Here's Seeley wide open. Now Hooker runs, quick outlet pass. Curry waits, gets in the lane. Oh, he gets rejected. Brasino with the swat. And quickly down the other way, Zaragoza the score, and it's uh, DJ Seely this time inside. And the fans loving the defense, which quickly turned into transition, uh, but thinking there was a foul as well that wasn't called. Washington again on the baseline, this time off target. As Aragotha can tie it or take the lead with a three. Garcia. Benzing from deep. The ball saved in bounds to Benzing, who's able to put it up. Good attempt there, uh, but missing it uh, gets it off the front of the rim. Benzing saying he was pushed, but nevertheless, it's Falco Bucano Sombate on top by two. He's seen with uh, five makes inside the arc. Zaragoza have yet to hit a three. Two have been made by Sombate. Well, leading the way for Zaragoza, Radovich has six points. And leading the way, the balanced attack for Falco Vulcano Sombate is Silard Finca with five points. So balanced scoring. Well, there is a big difference uh, in the rebounding. 
21 to 10 in favor of Zaragoza. And they've also got six second chance points to just two for the Hungarians. Well, second quarter action underway here in Zaragoza to uh, lead it 16, Sampate lead it 16 to 14. Here for the alley oop unsuccessfully. And here's Zaragoza. Pass uh, finds Brasino. Oliver Biro in the game, number seven now for the Hungarians. Three point attempt. And getting inside and throwing it down is big bad Trigvi Lenison. This is how they do it in Reykjavik. Hero picks up the foul. So Lennison can give Zaragoza the lead, and he does with the three point play. Lennison spent the previous two seasons uh, with Valencia Basket after an impressive uh, Phoebe Eurobasket 2017 campaign with Iceland. Now Quentin Hooker, whoa, from way downtown. He made that one from the wine country, from Rioja. 19 to 17 now in favor of Sambote. Garcia tries to answer. Curry launches it. And uh, Biro not able to save it before it goes out of bounds. So Bertino takes a seat. And Emanu Radovic also beat Krejci in the game for Zaragoza. Number 27. This is Krejci. Garcia. Krejci. And gets hammered as he gets into the paint. Garcia avoids the turnover against Hooker and puts it up and in. So his first two points of the game. Hooker fouled. They're going to call a moving screen. Yeah, they do on Washington. On Lake. Excuse me, Taquan Lake. Hubo cambio en casa de bola, salió a los 
Benzing from the right. That's what he's known for. Germany national team captain. Quentin Hooker from a long way out hits the ring but bounces away. Now Benzing. Zaragoza up three. And then reaching in and committing the fouls, uh, Devon Washington. Nice shaking and bacon. Uh, but the ball turned over. Curry stood his ground, forcing the turnover. And finished by Zoltan Pearl, and he will go to the line. The foul on Alethin. This Falco Vulcano Sombote team, of course, having to uh, to make it through the qualifying round. Qualifying round two. In fact, they actually started in qualifying round one, uh, and they beat uh, Oradia, former team in the basketball Champions League. And then they knocked off Vince Bills, another former team in the Basketball Champions League. And here they are, one and one, and going toe to toe with uh, really one of the hottest teams in Europe, Zaragoza. Garcia to Lennison. Turns, great footwork, and Washington could do nothing with. Uh, the big Icelandic, three fouls now on Washington. So he'll have to come out of the game. And Reddick will come back in. But you know what? It could be that Coach Gaspar Ocorn uh, more than happy with that performance because he's given Reddick a lot of minutes on the bench to rest uh, the starting center. Linuson meanwhile impressing tonight coming off the bench. That's his first miss from the free throw line. Two of three. And he's got four points. Open Pearl trying to create. Pearl fakes, drifts in, and the former Estudiantes man hands it off, gets the assist. Reddick and uh, again just very impressed by Zoltan Pearl always have been but you could you could see year on year he gets better and better Benzing meanwhile misses everything Pearl back to Varadi puts it up from a long way out that was short Alethine takes it all the way. Maybe 
Midway through the second quarter, Zaragoza up two. Pearl off to Hooker. And avoiding the foul, Alathin gets it to Garcia, who decides to bring it back out. Hands it off to Krechi. He hands it off to Lennison for the two-handed jam. Trigvi. Oh, my goodness. That's two dogs for Trigvi tonight. Trigvi Lennison. Pearl blocked from behind by Krechi. Lennison says, I don't want to come out. And that was the impressive move, but, but this is the second dunk from Lennison. Varadi gets, does not get the shooter's roll. Krechi again, hangs over to Seeley, back to Krechi. Now Bensing, back to the basket, rolls, takes the punishment, and makes the shot late in the shot clock. Robin Benzing. Tough move. Foul by Varadi. In his second spell with Zaragoza, he played for this team. In fact, back from 2015 to 2017, before he went back to Germany to play for Würzburg. And last year, he was with Besiktas in Turkey. No good interior passing, good awareness of where everybody is on the court. Say it's not bad play by Krechi, just 19 years of age. Now, you know, with that Czech national team having such a huge summer. Uh, they'll be keeping tabs on this young man. We can never have too many people knocking on the door of the national team. Benka, largest deficit now face they have faced in this game. Sombate, Redick. Well, good idea. Barati with the rebound, wide open, and bank it in. The bank is open, folks, and Zaragoza right now for Binka. And that cuts it back to four. Benzing open from deep. And Barati rebounds it. So, under three minutes remaining, a crucial point of the game right now is Sombate just want to get to halftime close against Zaragoza, who are itching to pull away. Wide open, this time short.
Bustis. Alathan now Bustis. Tell you, he uh, was trying to bank it in, but he hit it off the side, off the edge of the backboard. Varadi, will it finally go? Nope, still cannot get it to go. Varadi. Has yet to score. And meanwhile, Alathan misses everything but the net. I Thor Escurin Gonzalez has checked into the game. For Zaragoza. This is Alathan. Gordon Barati. Two fouls on Zaragoza. Garcia comes back into the game for Alathan. Well, if I'm Sombate now, I, I liked uh, that look where they had Reddick rolling to the basket. He just missed the shot. It was a good look. Let's see if he can get it again. Filipovity takes a little bit of contact and gets it to go. Stayed with the shot. He had an early three pointer. Three point attempt misses everything. And that's one thing that they have not done well tonight is shoot it well from deep. Now Filipovity for three. And the turnover. Inside the final minute now. Sombate with a chance to go back in front with a three. Tight with the two. I think they would have settled for this position before the game. Zoltan Pearl. Quick pass down low. Reddick takes it back outside. In the corner it goes. Benka misses and Hustis rebounds. Rosino to Hustis. Oh. Looked like he might have had a chance, but instead he passes it outside for the long jump shot for the young man who's just entered the game, Aitor Etzguren Gonzalez. In fact, that was a three-pointer. So in his first minutes, he comes in. Just 16 years of age and scores. So the 16 year old on the board. Emphasizing the, the pick and roll. See the uh, big rebounding advantage for Zaragoza. That's one of the aims of the Basketball Champions League is to try to give you know, promote these young players, get them a chance uh, to get some some minutes in European competition. So for the 16 year old Etzgurin Gonzalez, that was a, a big shot, three pointer. This is it right here. 
Another look at that. He's pretty tall as well. 2.6 meters in height, six feet nine inches. So Sombote had the basketball, holding it for the last shot. Run the play. Filipovity for three. Well, they get it back. And Filipovity a little bit too late. So all things considered, I think Zaragoza would be happy. Uh, they lead it 33 to 28 over Falco Bucano Sombate. Zaragoza 10 to 24 inside the arc. Two makes from deep. That's been a, a weakness tonight. Seven of eight at the line. Uh, but where they're really doing damage is on the boards. 14 of their 34 rebounds on the offensive glass. And both teams with seven assists. So Mbate do have four steals. And Radovich, Benzing, and Lindison each with six points for Zaragoza. Benka has a game high eight. As Redick has six and Filipovity five for Sombate. So Without further ado, we're at halftime, folks. 33 to 28, Casa de Mont Zaragoza on top of Falco Volcano Sambate. In uh, Group D, a battle of one and one teams. And we'll be right back before the start of the second half. I'll let you enjoy these highlights.
three minutes of the half. Oh, the weak side just opened up. The one goes straight down the middle and flushes one. Davis, meanwhile, gets in and makes a very tough reverse layup. No wonder they call him Jordan. That's Jordan S. Yelovats it gets rejected. Well, what a block. I'll tell you what, just Nimbuck making a count in transition. And right now, Gazzard's have are just such a bronzes. But really, Aaron Nimbuck is just taking this game over. He had no chance of making that one. Almost takes the shot while he's lying on the floor. Sam Bubbles now inbounds the ball to baseline. Mr. Hatcher, Hatcher spins around. Well, he's got to make that shot. William Hatcher, are you serious? This guy, veteran, is putting on a show. I mean, he looks like a globe trotter right now. Matulis, low post. His pass to Ray. Ray putting it on the floor. Oh! Scoops it up and it goes for Kendrick Ray. Her defender Almeida in the lane. Almeida for the win. Doesn't get it, but it's hit back his head. And now Aaron Nimbuck, they win the game with Hankins here in overtime. I can't believe it. Here's Almeida, goes in the lane. Hankins comes up. Oh, that's game over. Aaron Nimbuck now have won this ball game. Eight points now. Now, oh, and that's a big time block. Big time defensive play. Not in this house as Gentile tries to get through. Oh, but Solon goes up for the jam. There's no way Zabinov was going to allow himself to be on the wrong end of a post. What a tough catch by Martin, and he puts it up! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, he's made it! Was it Stone in the end? Unbelievable. These guys refuse to lose tonight. Radovich with six points. 
Boosted seven rebounds and pursuing over those two assists, the leaders in those specific uh, categories for Zaragoza, who are on top 33 to 28 at halftime over Falco Volcano Sombote here in Group D. Sombote had their moments, especially in the first quarter uh, when they jumped out to an early lead led by as many as eight points. Uh, Casa de Mont Zaragoza, though, battled back. Then they went in front by as many as seven points uh, before taking a five point uh, lead to halftime. You see Radovich's numbers. Could be on his way to a double double tonight. Zaragoza next week uh, will uh, hit the road again for the third time in the first four games when they go to Lithuania to play Neptunus. Sombate, meanwhile, uh, have uh, been led by Vinka's eight points. Quentin Hooker has five rebounds, and uh, their other point guard, Varadi, has four assists. For this week, uh, Falco Sombote will return home uh, to be take on Telecom Baskets Bond. You see Benka there, his numbers, the leading scorer in the game with eight points. He banked in a three-pointer. That's what gave him his uh, game high. It's important to remember uh, that, you know, the season is already a success for Falco uh, Volcano Sombate because they actually had to make it through the qualifying rounds uh, to get here. Uh, in their first game, they won by nine points over Aradia uh, in, uh, at home over the remaining. Then in Romania, they played at Aradia and they lost by six. So they advanced with a three point win on aggregate. And then the next round, uh, they took on Finchfields, hosting the first leg to beat the Latvians by six. And then in the second leg, uh, Falco Volcano Sombate rolled to a 73-55 win. So, you know, just getting to the regular season uh, was a testing time for them. And now they've actually got a win. And we've seen some good things from them tonight. Uh, they've, they've definitely got some good... Uh, some talented players. I'm not sure how many scores they have, but and I'm not sure that they're running uh, the offense as uh, Gaspar Acorn, Acorn rather, would like. Uh, but they've definitely got some skillful players. Uh, uh, among them, speaking of uh, skilled players, among them is the point guard who came off the bench. And number two, Ron Curry, who has yet to score. He's missed all three of his shots from the floor. Uh, but he's clearly uh, a dangerous player. He had 10 points in the game against Pedesteri. Uh, he didn't play last week. Uh, but then against Mornar Bar as well, he had 13 points. So he's a player perhaps to watch in this second half, Ron Curry, the shooting guard. So second half action underway here in Zaragoza, who lead it 33 to 28 over Sombote. And taking it down low is Lennison. And the big battering ram of Lennison is having uh, quite a game. 
Kumbate cannot contend with the big center, it appears. Hooker, meanwhile, comes down and hits a soft mid range jumper. And again, Lennison picks it up, and an unsportsmanlike foul has been called on Curry. So it'll be two free throws and possession. And you can hear him saying he was going for the ball, but the uh, referee made no hesitation to make that call. Well, they can they have a chance to look at it. Uh, and that's the good thing about the unsportsman like fouls. They can go and review the decision. So that's what they will do for the first time in this game. Tom Kroger is on the left. The crew chief. So Prasino gets it to Lennison. Now watch Curry race in. And, you know, I think that they're going to leave that. I think that's unsportsmanlike. He wasn't playing the ball, but let's see. I've been wrong before. And indeed it is. It is an unsportsmanlike, so that confirms it. That's what's great about the system now is that they can go back and review the unsportsmanlikes because obviously it's a, it's a huge uh, play and Lennison after all that misses the first free throw the second free throw miss of the night and misses both so in the end uh, it doesn't hurt the visitors to the poverty Good anticipation by Philip Poverty. Look at this. He's again going for a steal. Gambling a little bit. Alatin. Goes off one foot. Pinka now pushes it quickly. Bounce pass. Look at that. Beautiful basketball from Sombote. Lennison to the corner. Brasino not shooting quite as well tonight as he usually does. Binka with the fake. And then his pass was red, intercepted. And Hooker fouls Allison before helping him up. DJ Sealy's been relatively quiet tonight. He was a key man the other night. Lennison misses. Radovich fouled. Is it Philip Poverty? I think it is. Lennison has to get to the point where he catches the ball down low and just goes up and dunks it, which is probably easier said than done. Uh, but he's big enough and strong enough. Maybe if he improves his footwork a little bit. You know, he's only picked up the game late in life. So. Playing uh, in the arguably the toughest uh, domestic competition in in Europe in Spain is quite an achievement for Lennison. Radovich makes the first and the second. And takes it back up to a five point lead. Oh. 
Hooker. Uh, beautiful drive and the lob flushed by Reddick. Casino bounce pass to Lennis, and that's what I'm talking about. Catch it and dunk it. I don't think anybody can stop him. Ten points for Lennison. And now the ball almost intercepted by Allison, and the turnover has been forced. And this is where Falco Bucano Sombote cannot afford to make mistakes and allows Zaragoza to get easy baskets in transition. This is the previous trip down where he throws the alley-oop. And then Lennison, not for the first time, dunking it. Lennison gets it back, puts it up. That's good. Lead back to seven. They've equaled their biggest lead of the game. Hooker. Oh, opportunistic Curry. And had a chance, did not take it. Radovich fakes the handoff and has it knocked away by Filipovity. Or Benka. Excuse me. Now Curry again. Reddick goes right at Lennison and gets blocked. himself quite a game tonight Lennison Fran Vasquez is on the team but not dressed out tonight for profiler of Fisak Fisak really uh, you can see looking at Lennison seeing uh, how he's developing what he's gonna be able to do to help his team this year uh, this time the bounce pass gets past him Reddick picks it up, puts up a difficult shot, and hits it right at the shot clock buzzer. Now, Zaragoza arguing that it was after the shot clock had expired. But they're going to count it. Reddick goes to 10 points. Well, Seeley prevents the turnover. No, he does not. He turns it over now on the break. And Curry fouled by Allison. So free throws awarded. Garcia comes back in. Curry at the line, and Sombate not going away just yet. Hanging around, picking it up a little bit on the defensive end. Seeing a little bit more assertiveness uh, from the likes of Hooker. Got to toughen up here. First two points of the game for Curry. Now sitting back in a 2-3 zone. Uh, but they still get it inside to Lennison. That's what the zone is supposed to take out. It's supposed to force the opposition to beat you from outside. And they were able to pass the ball to the big fella, who I think now has four dunks.
Philip Poverty with a little runner. Gets it back, puts it up, quick shot. Gets it back again, takes it back outside to Hooker. Here's Curry, the shooting guard. Just can't get it going, but another opportunity. And Curry this time takes it all the way. Well, persistence pays off, and it's back to a three-point game. Seeley. Racino. Now quickly the leaked out early was Benka, and then he turned it over. Good hustle from Benka. Got a little too fancy with his pass. Missed an opportunity. Garcia to Lennison has a knocked out of his hands. Now here comes Sambate on the break. And Filipovity takes the bump, makes the shot. And he was wanting a foul. The crowd boos because they thought there'd been a foul at the other end. And it's back to a one-point game. Nice fight being shown by the Hungarian team. Seely gets in the lane and draws the contact. This was Lennison, one of his uh, many attempts to dunk it. Thought he was fouled. Hustis, meanwhile, comes in. Lennison goes out. And Brasino, who hasn't been at his best tonight, goes back out, at least shooting the basketball. of last week's uh, win at Besiktas Seely makes the first. Remember it was right at the end of the game. They were trailing by one and he was fouled attempting a three point shot. Like two seconds left and he made two of the three free throws uh, to stun Besiktas in Istanbul. So his free throws take it up to a 45 42 lead. Zoltan Pearl back in number nine gets it back to Hooker. And Curry swoops in, picks up the ball, the loose ball, back to Hooker now. Pearl back. Philip Poverty. Oh boy, they would have paid money for that shot. Wide open. Twenty-three-year-old, uh, twenty-three-year-old Philip Poverty takes a seat. Washington back in the game, number six, and he can't stop the shot from Benzing. Having a fine night tonight. After his heroics at the weekend against Barcelona, now with eight points, Robin Benzing. Oh, beautiful drive, and getting to the line will be Zoltan Pearl, fouled by Krejci, the young Czech. Tell you what, so many nationalities out on the court during this game. You've got the Cuban, Hustis, Krejci, the Czech, Zoltan Pearl, the Hungarian, and a few Americans out there, Benzing, the German, Garcia, the Spaniard. Obviously, you got a lot of Spaniards as well. Got the Montenegrin Radovic, who's not in the game right now. You do not tend to see uh, many Asians playing in Europe. And 
now foul called away from the ball. Sombate have uh, gone over the limit. So free throws for Zaragoza. One team uh, from Spain has won the Basketball Champions League, Verso Tenerife, in the opening year. Uh, fouls on Lake. And now Benzing misses his first one. Now, what will be the next one? We've had a Greek team win the Basketball Champions League. That was Ike in year two at home. The Verstar Tenerife won it at home in the Canary Islands as well in year one. And then last year, Virtus Bologna won it from Italy. And that was in the great Belgian city of Antwerp, which I still am over the moon about having been able to go there. All three places have been wonderful hosts for the Final Four. Who's it going to be this year? What country? Reddit doing a good job and then following it up as Varadi. The point guard gets in and scores with the putback. Good man to man defense. Pustis gets in, fumbles it away, and gets it back, flings it up, and then great defense by Varadi. With Seeley attempting to score, Pearl hands it off. And boy, Reddick had a great chance there. I thought he was going to dunk it, but just lost the ball. Now Benzing, both teams' defense uh, doing quite well. Seeley, good box out. And Falco Volcano Sombate. Wow. Hanging tough. Pearl. Pulls up with the line. Garcia shifts back to his left, gets it back to Hustiz, who goes in for the two handed slam. Tapong. Throw down. Bounce pass. Oh, beautiful finish. Pearl with the uh, left handed reverse. I meant to say Mate, not Tapon. Pustis. Over to Benzing for three. Yes, it is. And just like that, it's back to a six point lead for Zaragoza. Paco Vulcano Sombate will try to hold it for one shot. Quinton Hooker. Well, will they hold it for one? And no, they will not. Foul was called. Well, they might end up holding it for one, in fact, because uh, Zaragoza not over the limit. Washington thought about taking a three, then he started driving. But again, Unless it's a clear shot, that was uh, the previous trip down with the Pearl reverse layup. <laughs> there got the fans frustrated, thinking their team should be on on top by more here against this uh, Sombate team. Oslo and Alan Kroger's talking things over, and now they're going to review, it appears. Are they thinking that it's an unsportsmanlike, potentially? Oh, yeah, that's what they're thinking. It's an unsportsmanlike. I'd be surprised if they called that in the sportsman like. Uh, uh, they're reviewing to see if he was in the shooting motion. That's what it was. Sorry. So two shots, uh, but again, 
the tough part uh, for Falco Vulcano Sombate is that they've left plenty of time now for Zaragoza. So we'll see how this pans out. Washington makes the first. But misses the second. So five point game. Garcia brings it up quickly. Final seconds ticking off the clock in the quarter. Garcia misses. And Krejci doesn't get it up in quite enough time. So 10 minutes remaining. Zaragoza uh, on top, but plenty of work still to do. They lead it 53-48 over Sambate. Fourth quarter action underway here in Zaragoza. Zaragoza leading it by five points against Sombote, who've uh, been terrific, hanging around. Pass and going up and the foul as well. Unbelievable. Daquan Lake gets his first two points. Uh, I think they might have called goal interference because he went up potentially and not a foul. I know they have called the foul. So three fouls on Justis. And uh, the young Lake is at the line and sinks the free throw. So it's a two point game. There will be a lot of happy Hungarians watching this one back home. Back in Sombote. Benzing. Gets into the paint, out to the perimeter. And another bad miss by Brasino, who just can't seem to throw it in the ocean tonight. Brasino, one of eight from the floor, 0 of six from three point range. Sombate can take the lead if this falls. Pecci. Got some flair to his game, doesn't he? 
Oh, took one step too many. I don't think it's going to be too long before we see this guy in the Czech lineup. I'm curious if Ronan Ginsburg will have him at camp uh, before the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament, whichever one the Czechs play in. Interesting, interesting player. Vinka steps back for three and fouled while attempting the three. So if he can knock these free throws in, Sombote will take the lead. And it was the young Krejci who was guilty of the infraction. Benka takes his time. He was good in the European qualifiers last year for Hungary. A lot of these players have seen their the benefits of that experience. They've, they've gotten better with uh, that more regular tough competition with their national teams. I think it makes the second. And gets the third to go down as well. So how about Falco Bucano Sombote taking the lead 54 53 upset alert perhaps. Krejci goes out. Radovic comes back in. Rosino, he's been ice cold tonight. Very important basketball game for both of these teams uh, when you consider the makeup of their group. Kustis has it. Oh, throws it over the rim. Ball goes outside. Jump shot from Verratti, the three is good. And now Sombote are in front by four points. What a steady, disciplined approach by Sombote. They've not gotten away from what they were doing. The only time where I was disappointed is when they went to a zone in the third quarter on that one play and they allowed the easy uh, pass into Lennison who went up for the dunk. It's been a tough night at the office shooting wise for Zaragoza, especially with Brasino 0 of 6. Just imagine if he'd hit just two of those, they would have the lead. But if you look at the group that these guys are in, Group D, you got Neptunus. They're now at 2 and 1. Telecom Baskets Bonn, they're 2 and 1. JDA Dijon, they're playing right now. Uh, Besiktas are 1 and 2, but they're a tough team. Uh, and then you've got Pauk, who may be 0 and 3, but they're always dangerous. And Happy Casa Brindisi are a tough, a tough team as well. So, you know, this is the type of this is the type of group I would go ahead and, and be willing to say we're going to go to the last week, and there's going to be at least two places, if not three, still up for grabs, three playoff places. I see this as being a very even group on the evidence of what I've seen. Dijon, in fact, winning uh, 73 to 62 over Brindisi. So uh, this very uh, impressive start for the French team. They have really stepped it up this year. Garcia goes out. Alathen comes back in. And now inside to Hustit, and he puts it up and in. 
Luego para que se lo diga. Ya. Sultan Pearl and here is a foul called on So Radovich goes down and the foul called on Lake. And the drive and the basket is good by Alothin. Now coming back up is Varadi, and it's a tie game, 57 apiece. The drive and oh, what a tough finish from Zoltan Pearl, the former Estudiantes man. Persino now. Will he finally get his first attempt to go in? Now, it's Alethin. Gets inside the arc, gets inside, gets blocked. Great play by Sombate. Binka has it. The crowd boos. Stepping back, Binka. Now off one foot, and the basket is good. Woo! Pearl. What a pearl of a move. But we had Earl the Pearl. Now we've got Zoltan Pearl. Benzing pulls up mid-range. Both teams playing at a high level here in this fourth quarter. Fourteen for Benzing. Borati. Back to Washington. Now to Pearl. Shot clock winding down. Ferrari for three. That's short. And Washington commits the foul. Fans appealing for an unsportsmanlike. Well, the crowds tend to be rather rowdy in Spain. Yeah, you can see why that you can see why that one rankled supporters. Could possibly consider themselves fortunate that the rest didn't go and look at that. Well, really, we couldn't have asked for a better game tonight. Yeah, I really felt like uh, Zaragoza would have been on top by this point, but some Bate have not gone away. Pump fake. Benzing feet set. And good job battling Sealy for the rebound was Ron Curry. 
And we're halfway through the fourth quarter. And the visitors from Hungary have a two point lead. It's Hungary against Spain. It's Sombote against Zaragoza. Redick hands it off. Benka for three, short. And probably not the best set. I wonder why. Sombote not trying to get any penetration. Uh, So they don't have Pearl in the game anymore. And uh, there's a good driver in the tap from, was it Radovich or Benzing? But the game is tied. In fact, it was a Radovich with the putback. So he's got 10 points. But already. Shot clock down to five. Ferrari. Wow. Fortunate to keep the basketball. Benzing saying the ball went off of Ferrari's left foot. Uh, take another look. Oh. Yeah, I think they've missed one. Shot clock about to expire. Reddit gets it up. And I think the ball must have grazed the rim. And they get a new 14. Fumbote just hanging on for dear life. Curry banks it in. Well, this is an opportune time for him to uh, kind of assert himself offensively as the shooting guard. We talked about him having some nice games before. He's been relatively quiet tonight. Uh, but he's still got time to make an impact. Allison to Benzing. And his pass was to Radovich. Goes out of bounds. 3.1 seconds on the shot clock. Quinton Hooker now in the game. Gives you probably a little more uh, driving skills. Good reach by Reddick to prevent the layup. Radovich. And Filipovity back in, gets the rebound, hands it off to Quentin Hooker. Let's see if we get Hooker trying to penetrate and dish. No, it's going to be Filipovity for three. I would rather see some driving and dishing. And now a foul called on Hooker. Wow. I think uh, might have been bailed out there by that call. Anyway, timeouts as the players go to the bench. But with Sombote, they seem to be shooting uh, a lot of three pointers. And, you know, just five of 25, they've been more dangerous getting to the basket. Especially with Pearl. It'll be time for him to come back in. This was Pearl. This is where he's dangerous. He 
He has a knack for getting it inside. And we saw this recently as well from Curry. I, I like that part of their game better than just settling for jump shots. Allison drives in, passes it out to Benzing, misses everything. And back to Sombate. And Benzing, who's uh, developed a reputation over the years for that uh, nice stroke from three point range. Uh, it's awkward seeing him miss it like that. He apologizes. Rusino comes out. The three point shot just has not been there really for either team tonight, but it's really surprising. Really unusual to see both Rusino and Benzing miss as many as they have. Benka. Back to Curry. Oh, beautiful pass. Reddick. Oh, how did he finish? He took the punishment. He took the contact and he stayed with it. And not for the first time tonight. He's been excellent. Reddick, 12 points. And again, going to the basket. Much more effective for this Sumbalte team. Hooker fouls Allison, so free throws now for the Spaniard. Also, Hooker has four fouls. You hate to foul a player that far away from the basket and put him on the free throw line. Allison takes his time and misses the first one. Oh, those free throws. That's his first miss of the night. He was two of two. Now he's two of three. And Zaragoza now 12 of 17 at the line. Zaragoza winning against Barcelona at the weekend, but coming into the Basketball Champions League full of confidence. And this is what it's all about. You play different teams from different countries with different styles. And it's uh, it makes for great theater. And the tactical matchups and the battles of the coaches. So he makes one of two, Allison, and it's a three-point game. Boy, Filipovic turns it over. That's a horrendous turnover. And it leads to the break by Allison. It's a one-point game. What in the world was going on there? Hooker gets it across midcourt. Binka. Surely they got to put it on the deck and go to the basket. They're going to settle for a three-point attempt. And they miss it again. Filipovic. I just don't get it. There's so much better going to the basket. Seely into Hustis. He goes up in Zaragoza. Back in front. Still plenty of time for Sombote, but you just wonder if he's got the right lineup on the court.
Well, that was a bad turnover there. For the poverty. I mean, you just can't make that play. And uh, just giving the other team two points, and then uh, Philip Poverty missed the three-pointer from the right corner. So the young man takes a seat, and uh, Sultan Pearl back into the contest. And I think probably uh, the more experienced Sultan Pearl would be better in this situation. Philip Poverty has plenty of time. But to get better, but anyway, good defense by Seeley. A minute 11 remaining. Hooker gets it across mid court, guarded by Vic Frecci. The young Czech has come back into the game. Here's Pearl going to the basket. Pearl trapped, gets away, drives in, puts it up on the baseline. Good! That's what I'm talking about. Put him in the game. Sultan Pearl. He needs to be out there. Sixty-seven, sixty-six. Under pressure, and Pearl. Well, that was a man's jumper right there. Under pressure, big time. He's got thirteen points. Little poverty back in, and they hand it off to Benzing, and he lays it up and in. Excuse me, it was Radovich with the layup, and it was Aluthin with the, the assist. So Radovich now has 12 points, 10 rebounds. Senior double double. And uh, they're going to review something here. They stopped. Alan Kroger's is going to go to the commissioner. And the score. Timekeeper. I don't know if it was a timing issue. Well, this allows Eric Arthur to set up the, the press. So, this hasn't really done Falco uh, Volcano Sombate any favors. Okay, now they drop back. Booker hands it off to Pearl. Steps back. Now he's got it again. Gets into the paint. Turns. Puts up a tough shot. Unbelievable. Zoltan Pearl again. Zoltan Pearl with the swirl. Look at this. He's making him dizzy. He's making me dizzy. And Zoltan Pearl now with 15 points to lead Falco Bucano Sombate. Dalton Pearl, 7 of 11 from the floor, 7 of 10 inside the arc. He's only attempted one three. See from the three point shooting department tonight, the Hungarians 5 of 26, and Casademont Zaragoza. Just three of 22. Okay. Si no hay Robin, sí. Emma, abajo. Carlos, 
los dribbling, no agotes dribbling, display, bloqueo con él, ¿me entiendes bien? Sale. Well, it's crunch time. 23 seconds remains in the game. Uh, Zaragoza have the option of taking the clock all the way down. The problem that they might have is that they are not in the uh, close to being over the limit. They've only committed two fouls in case they miss it. Uh, they would need to uh, commit a couple if they were going to try to put uh, Falco Vulcano Sombate on the line. Well, buckle them up, folks. It's white knuckle time. This is the Basketball Champions League, and it's coming right down to the wire once again. Alifin drives in, tough shot off the glass, misses, they follow. And it's Radovic, the hero. Unbelievable with the putback. You got to box out. Philip Poverty kind of shoved out, and it was a. Not a bad drive at all, and uh, really Radovic just got his hand just enough of it to tap it up, and it fell in. So they call timeout, and they will advance the basketball uh, past midcourt. So with 4.3 seconds left, still time. Four point eight two seconds, in fact. What a game! One of the one of the best games, really. Look, the rebounds by quarter. That's been interesting, hasn't it? Zaragoza uh, dominated the glass in the first quarter. Uh, they won the second quarter in that department, and then Sambalte have uh, kind of stabilized things, winning the third and been almost even here in the fourth. Well, we've seen it time and time again. Zoltan Pearl, if they can get the ball in his hands and let him create, or perhaps uh, Hooker uh, going going to the basket. And you've also got the possibility of Curry. I would not settle for a jump shot. It could be that that's what they have to take, but they're much more effective getting it down low. And Radovich just fought for good position there and was able to tap it in. And don't forget about Benke. He inbounds it and gets it back. He is a, he is a man for the big occasion as well. Benke. Aragatha will not want to foul in, in the act of shooting. Oh, Curry's got it. And he was fouled right before. So that's the advantage of not having had many fouls. And now there's only, I think, 2.8 seconds left. Oh, boy. He's got to be awfully careful that he is going for the ball in that situation. And they are going to look at it. And I think they have to. This is the way things go these days. And, you know, when I looked at the replay, I was like, whoa, he's flirting. I've seen it called for less. Look at this. Is he playing the ball? This is the problem when you foul in this situation. If it's an unsportsmanlike foul, Curry will get two free throws, and they will also get possession. Well, you got to be... I mean, you gotta be a brave referee to make the call in front of this crowd. Was he playing the ball? That's the question. Here it is again. Crucial, crucial play. From that angle, it looked like he was definitely reaching for the ball. But it's at the very beginning. You know, and are they gonna judge that for fouling intentionally and not playing the ball. 
Well, these are nervous moments for Porfirio Fisak and Zaragoza. Okay, what are they going to say? Hold your breath, folks. Drum roll, please. What's going on? They're, don't tell me they were looking. Okay, they were looking not so much at the unsportsmanlike, but they're looking at how much time should have gone off the clock. So 4.1 seconds. I thought they were reviewing it if it was an unsportsmanlike. And Fisak is telling the timekeeper, make sure you 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 press start on the button. Here it goes baseline. Oh boy, and that was close. As Zoltan Pearl got clotheslined by Krejci. Look at this. Look at this foul. Okay, no, that was a, that was a good foul. So any more, and they put some bot some bot play on the free throw line. 2.8 seconds. This is what it comes down to. What is the play? They get to Curry. He puts it up, and he is prevented from behind. <laughs> by T.J. Seeley. Unbelievable. The man who won it last week at the free throw line after being fouled attempting a three tonight comes out and makes a defensive play to save the game. Tessa DeMont, Zaragoza to win it 70 to 69. Look at this. And Curry, I think, had the option of getting it back to Binka. Although... Uh, Benzing kind of stepped in the way of Benka and really to not even get a shot off. That is crucial. That is uh, cruel. You have to have a, I would think, a better play there where at least you get the ball going towards the rim. Talking about holding on for dear life. Look at Robin Benzing right now. All these guys. Give these guys credit. They could have lost it. Radovich over there got the game winning put back. And boy, what a show these guys put on tonight. It is tough uh, to lose a game on the road like this. They deserve the applause of the crowd, that's for sure. Zergoth will win it 70 to 69, 24 48 inside the arc for the host. They shot just three of 22 from deep, and that's why they had so many problems. They've got too good of shooters to shoot that percentage. Ended up dominating uh, the boards, including 20 offensive rebounds, and among them that Radovich uh, re offensive rebound and putback. Pearl had 15 points, a game high, and Radovich had 14, as well as Benzing, 14. Great game of basketball here in Spain tonight. So Zaragoza. Keep that streak alive of uh, all the Spanish teams that have played in the Basketball Champions League, winning uh, their first home game in the competition. And sadly, for Falco Vulcano Sumbatle, uh, they have uh, not become the first Hungarian team to win a game on the road in the Basketball Champions League. But I've got a pretty good feeling we're going to see some more uh, from this team uh, moving forward. I would have. I would have paid money before the start of the game uh, to have especially a fourth quarter like that. That was special. That was fun. Here was the bounce pass. And another look from Washington. Overall, just a wonderful game of basketball. Got some good defensive plays. Had some clutch offensive plays from a whole cast of characters, especially Pearl. I think some, uh, you know, the visitors needed to get the ball in his hands late. They did, but they just weren't able to get it to him for that last play. He was the guy that needed the basketball, either he or Quentin Hooker, I would think. If you're going to get it to Curry, you need to have a little bit more space. And it was good defense by DJ Seeley uh, preventing the block, at, preventing the shot at the end. So wonderful night of basketball leading the way. 14 apiece for Robin Benzing and Nemanja Radovic. 12 for 
Trig V, uh, Lennison. Most of those coming on dunks. He probably leads the Basketball Champions League in dunks now after tonight. Every time, every time we uh, turned around, he was dunking it. This was Pearl. Two of his uh, 15 points. Game high 15 points. And again, Radovich uh, earned a living crashing the offensive glass and putting him up and in. Radovich, you could argue, was the player of the game. He got the game winning tip and he finished uh, with 14 points and 11 rebounds. And it has to be good, a good feeling for Casa de Mont Zaragoza to win a basketball game while shooting as poorly as they did from three-point range, just three of 22. You know, they won with Brasino not anywhere near his best tonight shooting-wise, just one of eight, including 0 of 6 from three-point range, although he did help him with six rebounds and three assists. Benzing ended up 2 of 7 from deep and 5 of 12 overall. So these are the Group D standings. Uh, Dijon flying high now, unbeaten at the top at 3 and 0, followed by Neptunus, Telecom Basket Spawn, and Casa de Mont Zaragoza all at 2 and 1. And Falco uh, Volcano Sombatle down at number 6 at 1 and 2. We've got three 1 and 2 teams, Besiktas, uh, Falco, and Happy Casa, Happy Casa Brindisi. Pauk are at the bottom at 0 and 3. Thanks for watching, folks. 70 to 69, it's Casa de Mont. Zaragoza winning it over Falco Volcano Sombatle.